Okay, welcome back to PhysioX 10 uh, simulation videos. Uh, we're going to look at exercise five in this particular video. So we'll scroll down. Exercise five, several exercises uh, or activities, uh, seven total, um, which may seem intimidating on the surface, but really these first four go extremely quickly. So uh, we'll get right to it here and start with activity one, the effect of blood vessel radius. So we have our objectives. We're going to look at uh, blood vessel radius uh, and its effect on flow rate. Okay, so you can read some of the background uh, there. Method of controlling blood flow principle. That should be an LE principle method. So the primary method of controlling blood flow uh, is going to have to do with radius. Okay. So as usual, it asks uh, some pre-lab <clears throat> questions. So blood flow, so flow uh, or rate, blood flow rate, we generally see as being some sort of an amount per time. So um, this is blood pressure, of course. Uh, beats per minute, so amount per time, but we think of that as heart rate typically. Milliliters, so some sort of volume uh, per minute, that sounds about right, and a, a distance or a length per minute, so how far does it move? So um, maybe we're more interested in is how much is moving uh, per minute. So anyway, you can go through and answer these. Let's just get right to the activity. So we're going to leave uh, pressure, viscosity, and length as constants. So we're not going to touch pressure. It's going to be consistent or constant for each of these um, uh, little uh, tests that we run. Viscosity, the thickness of the blood, is we're going to leave at one. And the length of the tube from left beaker to right beaker will be kept at 50 uh, millimeters. So what we're going to be doing is increasing the radius. So we're going to start uh, with 1.5. So they, they have us at one. We're going to bump it up to 1.5. Uh, go to next. Click start. Go to next. Okay, so click start. Observe the fluid moving into the right beaker. So uh, we see the blood is flowing. So there's a pressure here that's allowing uh, and enabling that pressure or that blood to flow uh, into the right beaker. So again, this tube represents an artery uh, with a radius of 1.5. It's measuring our flow rate. So once it uh, gets done with that, uh, it's going to give us a flow rate of four milliliters per minute. So we're able to move four milliliters of blood in one minute uh, with a diameter or a radius, I should say, of 1.5. So we're going to record that data. Okay. Refill. Okay, so while that's refilling, uh, we're going to wait a few seconds here, and then we're going to bump up the radius a little bit higher to, to, to 2.0. So we're going to go up a, a half a millimeter. And again, this is very simple, very straightforward. Um, uh, we're going to see what happens to the flow rate when we increase the size of the tube, the, the radius of the tube specifically. Click. So notice it's going a little, uh, quite a bit faster. We don't have to wait as long. And again, you want to always remember with the physio axis, after you run uh, a little test, you want to remember to record the data. So you can access this anytime uh, at the end uh, when you're doing your questions. So we want to refill. So while that's refilling, and again, it asks a series of questions. I just want to run the uh, experiment so you get to, so you see what's going on. So we're going to keep doing this all the way up to five. We're going to go in increments of 0.5. So now we're back. We've done 1.5 and two. So now we're going to go up to 2.5. 
click start and we see it's moving uh, or flowing at a rapid pace. Click record data and we see 30.7 refill. Bump up to three millimeters. Woo, really zooming. Record data. Refill. This is nice too because it refills a lot faster. 3.5. Start. Record data. And again, we can come down and we see that the flow rate continues to increase as we increase radius. So we're going to keep going all the way up to 4.5 and then 5. So continuing to increase. And again, always remember to click record your data. And then lastly, we're going to get to 5.0, record data. We can see this incremental uh, increase here. Okay, so then we hit next. And select plot data to view a summary of your data on a plotted grid. So plot data, it'll pull up a graph. So you can see as we increase radius on the x-axis, we see an increase in flow rate. Okay. And we're gonna hit submit and that'll put that in your lab experiment uh, data at the very end. And that's it, you can uh, click submit to move on. Submit again, and again, it'll ask you some post-lab questions that you can uh, certainly answer. Again, I would recommend it. Uh, you're not required to. What you are required to answer are these review questions. So explain how the body establishes a pressure gradient for fluid flow, and you can type right into these. And again, you can view your experimental results at any time. Yeah, so you want to answer those. Okay, and that gives you <clears throat> your lab report, everything you did. Now from here, you can click printable version. It, it, it appears that it doesn't give you an option to save it, but in fact it does. So if we click printable version, it will ask you to enter your name. Okay, and sure enough, there we go. It has the date uh, in which uh, you perform the activity, what activity it is, and then you can hit print right here, and it'll bring up your normal uh, print screen. And uh, with that print screen, it'll give you the option to choose a destination. What printer do you want to print it from? Well, oftentimes it'll have the printer. Um, as the default, um, whatever printer you use, if you have one, it'll have that as the default destination. So, which is, yeah, I mean, you may want to print it off, but um, if you want to, I would recommend saving it as a PDF, or if you use Google and have Google Drive, you can save it uh, to, to your Google Drive. So um, I'll do save as PDF, and then it has the option here, click save. And then it'll ask, you can keep, keep the file name what it is. You can even put a, a dot and then your last name after it. Um, I would have mine defaults to my PhysioX uh, folder. Click save and that's it. And then when you're ready to go to the Dropbox and submit, you just drop that PDF right in to the Dropbox. Now, if you're gonna save it as a Google Drive document, it, if you, I have my Google Drive open, so it'll take, it'll put it right into my Google Drive. But again, I would probably recommend to all of you to save it as a PDF.
And from there, you can print it off anytime you want. You can submit it in a drop into a Dropbox for online courses. Um, if it's a face-to-face -face class or blended where the instructor requires you to turn in uh, the paperwork, you can print it off that way. So um, anyhow, that's all for now. Uh, uh, I will be doing uh, the next activity uh, under exercise five. So stay tuned. That's coming up.